Okay, uh, let's see. So, let's keep just grabbing whatever. There's so many things. Not nearly enough time. Okay, well, at the very least, we can get that sewing station done. That gets it. That gets us a level. Okay. So what do we want to get next? Actually, trade. Unlock markets. Yeah. Let's go for markets next. Crafted items sell for 25% more. And items discard from your inventory are instantly sold instead. Not yet implemented. No! That actually sounded really helpful. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can make a small backpack. So we need some thread. I think we might actually be getting some extra livestock around here. I could be wrong. But yeah, if we could actually switch over to a diet of... ...some uh, certain resources over others, that might actually make my life easier. I'm suddenly, like... It's weird. Playing this game makes me think of, like, other games that were kind of similar to this, but... We're lacking certain mechanics. Like, I'm suddenly reminded of Slime Rancher, and suddenly I'm like, I kind of wish I could actually ranch these slimes as part of this game. Guess we'll have to see how it boils down. Okay, can I make the small backpack? Yes. Hopefully they'll crank up my inventory space, even if it's just, like, the smallest amount. So, why are you playing Tomb Raider tonight? Uh... I'll have to check. I think the embargo is sometime tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Valkyria Chronicles tonight, and, god, I have too many games. Like, I don't know what it is about this year, but effectively a bunch of AAA gaming companies are like, Hey, Wanderbot exists, let's send them free games, and I'm like, sweet! And then I'm like, oh no. Oh no, how am I ever gonna cover all of these? I mean, I guess what I could do is just ditch them, but... It's actually surprisingly hard to... get bored of, well... I wouldn't exactly say surprisingly hard. It's a lot easier to, like, kind of fall off the wayside on a... Okay, small backpack. Four more inventory slots. Medium backpack. Requires leather, sled, and... <laughs> leather, sled, leather, thread, and jelly. Okay. So yeah, we want to start cranking up our inventory space if we can. Did I... No, I don't have a skill point. We gotta figure out how to how to cook these. I guess I can just eat the meat, but there's got to be, there's got to be cooking. Oh, we are totally out of stamina here. I'm assuming we start taking starvation damage if I, uh, if I push it too much. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be playing, uh, uh, Tomb Raider. I'm just not sure exactly if it'll be today or, like, sometime, sometime tomorrow. Entirely depends on when that embargo drops. Because, yeah, I, I just randomly got an email for Valkyria Chronicles today, and they're like, Yeah, you wanna, you wanna cover our game? Uh, embargo up to the 8th chapter. Or, you know, after the 8th chapter, which is, like, super forgiving if I, uh, if I know Valkyria Chronicle. Because, like, it's a long game. Okay, cooking skill is in the green green section. Gotcha. Probably also look into alchemy and a couple other things. Well, we might just have a series of like many one-offs for a little while <laughs> while I get my life together, or I'll just cover them all and f just figure it out. Generally, the latter. Okay. Uh, let's see. So for starters. Let's go back, uh, right, let's go make that leather. Okay, oh no. Uh, okay. So the sewing station's out for a second. Bone pickaxe, we still haven't figured out how to get bone. And we need some glass. So let's start with the glass. We need sand. Okay, so that's, that's right out. Right. I might actually just be able to build some of these things. Farming fish traps. Oh, 
I'll have to see about catching fish here. Okay, what else do we have? Magical, nothing. Economic, we can make a market. We need bricks. All right, well, that's an immediate thing that I can actually work on. I'm getting overloaded with future choice and it's less helpful. We need more cotton. I think there was, uh, there's a couple of skill perks, whatever, that help in regards to cotton production. It'd be nice if we can eventually switch over to actually farming this stuff instead of just finding it in the wild. I'm assuming that's actually how it boils down. So many slimes. If we're lucky, maybe I'll be able to actually sell the, uh, sell the slime at some point. That'd be nice. Yeah, can you farm? I, I have no idea. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna wax hypothetical games for a second here. This is reminding me of, I mean, a lot of other sandbox games, but the execution is kind of interesting. But it's making me really want, like, kind of a weird hybrid game between this and, like, RimWorld. Like, where effectively you're playing with, uh, several other players, uh, surviving in a, uh, uh, you're playing with other players surviving in, in like, a, in an environment, getting attacked by enemies and stuff. Uh, and you might want to make, like, a mountain fortress so they don't bother you as much. But, uh, you know, pretty much these mechanics, but with, like, uh, rim -worldy objectives here and there. Oh. Hopefully that recovers. Sounds like you're describing Minecraft. Except for Minecraft doesn't have very interesting, like, overarching objectives, and, like, your main threats are, like, just your house exploding on you. Because, I know there's some mods that do it, but I never, I don't know. The mods never quite did it for me. And also, I, I don't like the visual style of Minecraft in the slightest. It's just never been my thing. Okay, so we haven't leveled up yet, have we? No. No skill points. Okay, I got 14 bricks. That should be enough. Let's get a market down. Nope, now I need wood. Alright, well that would do it. But yeah, like, I I vastly prefer this visual style to, like, Minecraft's voxel style. There's a couple other games that, like, do voxels that I really like. Like, I liked Cube World. It was it was cartoonier. The, the textures didn't drive me up the wall. And I know there's mods for Minecraft and textures and stuff. Um, but also, I don't, I don't particularly like the, uh, the direct, like, gameplay of Minecraft. I don't know, there's a lot of things that just, like... Minecraft was a, a brilliant idea at the time, but it... I don't think it, it quite fits some of the, like, higher-end mechanics that I look for. Uh, summon a Wither, go fight the Ender Dragon. Yeah, but that, that... I've done both of those. It's not actually that interesting. Like, compared to Terraria, which, admittedly, like, also doesn't have the mechanics to really support what I tried to do. Terraria at least had like this, um... Oh! Sand. We don't have enough berries, though. But... Did we just level up? I think we just leveled up. Okay, so we need some more berries, potentially. Because, yeah, if I can get some berries, we can get... Uh, probably should have looked into cooking, maybe. Uh, we can get some more fish traps. Which turns out to be actually quite helpful. Okay, and looks like we've got an amount of cotton coming in. Eventually, I'm going to be able to use all these resources, and it's going to be amazing. Right, I was getting trees. The other thing I could actually consider is actually just uh, converting all of the gold that I've been hoarding 
into uh, coinage and just buying as much land as I possibly can. I've been avoiding that because I don't want the uh, the stress of being like, ah, too many things to do. Let's see, you can just eat wheat. You can eat just wheat straight up? Huh. Ow. I kind of hate these guys. They're obnoxious. We're going to have a lot of wheat by the time we're done. Okay, uh, let's see. Farming fish traps. Oh. I'm probably in the way. Okay, so that'll give a... That'll get a sand now. I suddenly feel kind of like I'm playing ra uh, that raft game that we played for a while. Alright. Let's make as much gold as we can. Okay, we don't want to immediately get in on that. Should probably also put a couple of bridges between. Yeah, let's do that. Bridge. There we go. Just so I don't always have to go over to that one side. To get to and from. Okay, so that cotton that cotton has grown, we can we can get past it. No, more things. Yeah, seriously. Playing this multiplayer would be such a such a nice boon, because I'd just be like, hey, friendos, help. Okay, so let's make a shit ton of money. Let's expand our landmass a little bit. Who knows, we might find some resources that we need. Okay, first off, I should probably move. No! Oh. You could- you have to shake the chicken for the egg now. Unfortunately, the chicken is now also standing where... Wanna put the market? Nope, never mind. Market's down. Okay. So I'll have to- I'll have to pay attention to the chickens if I want eggs. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Go back to making as much iron as we can. As much coal as we can. And yeah, I've got a lot of poop for whenever I need that poop. At some point we'll need poop and I'll be like, yeah, I got this. I'm ready. I've got like two week old shit just hanging out in my inventory. Right. I can just use my cursor to pick things up. I keep forgetting about that. Oh, I wonder if the chickens uh, pulse when they've got uh, an egg ready to be grabbed. Possible. Hopefully we can eventually pick up these critters and actually move them to a different location. Because that would make my life a lot easier. Okay, so the whole bunch of whole bunch of sand, whole bunch of money. Another farty beast. I'm bad at avoiding those, but that's okay. We got fairy. We got fairies all over the place to so just get me back up. I think we've got enough. Start by making all the thread we possibly can. Because, yeah, I want that bigger backpack. I want everything. I'm a greedy person in this game. I mean, it's so far so good. Kind of working out. Gotta make sure I don't accidentally kill the chicken. I don't utilize them for as much as I probably should. But I don't know. They're cute. And I'm assuming, unless we, unless it turns out that we need feathers, there's a, there's a possibility we'll need feathers. Okay, so we can buy green pigment, royal clothing, or gold ingots. I don't think the gold ingots are really worth anything. Um, I'm gonna sell the emerald. There might be a use for it, but I don't know. I'm just gonna sell anything that I have in my inventory that I don't immediately need. Not a whole lot of immediate cash crops here. I'll sell the fish. 
there might actually be a use for those. You know, have three chickens. Good. Good. Let them come. Ow. Slime spawned on my butt. That's not appreciated. Okay, so we've got sand now. I don't remember what I needed the sand for. I'll remember eventually, probably when I check the crafting menu. Should probably also look into cooking. Just so I'm getting rid of some of these. Either cooking or alchemy. Oh, I needed it for glass. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Okay, and if we're lucky, that gets me enough for the medium backpack. I still haven't figured out how to get bone. I'm assuming I'm going to need to buy more islands for that one. Okay. Fish. Anything else interesting down here? Yeah. I'm I'm gonna be on this circuit for a while. But it's satisfying. It's it's snappy. There's there is waiting in this game, but there's never a point where you're like, I have nothing to do. And travel time so far hasn't felt like a problem. I'm sure it will once we have every island uh purchased, but still. Okay, so let's take a look at skills. Farming, shovel, windmills, and bread. It's tempting. Fishing. Wood cutting, more wood, graziers. No. Boots and gloves. Maybe. Can't do commerce yet. Sell for more. Banks and vaults or something. Let's do farming. Agriculture. Not yet implemented. Damn it. Cooking. There we are. Alright, so unlocks cook pots, sugar, mayo, and cheese. That's what we're looking for. Let's make even more money. I'm gonna need that some of that gold for uh, steel at some point, but I have yet to actually find like a immediate use for immediate use for it. I hate these guys. Okay, uh, let's sell the seaweed. Sell the topaz. You have royal clothing. Oof, pricey. Hey, bigger backpack. Even more inventory space. And thank you, best name on the wib. Wib. Best name on the Spider-Man uh, for the 14-month resub. Damn. It's been that long. Wild. Okay. Oh, we just make bread here. We gotta get a windmill for flour, though. When you see a hole looking thing on the ground, you wanna use your shovel on it. Okay. Once that's done spitting out coins, we'll, uh, we'll start doing some sh shovelry. Yeah, I see one hole on the ground that I'll, I'll dig up. Oh, chickens poop too. I mean, it makes sense that chicken, chickens would poop. Okay, I should probably buy as many islands as I can immediately grab. I just, I feel like I haven't done enough on these islands, you know, there's there's so many things to do, it's like, why why expand when you don't need to? But no, let's, let's buy some land. The shit is that? Beat land. Land of the creepy weird beat creatures. Okay, out of money for a little while. Not too long, though. I, there we go. Oh, right. 
I can just mouse over that. I'm a dummy. I should, uh, I should rem- Oh no. I hit beef. I smacked the beef. I shouldn't do that. Beef is surprisingly not too buggered by this. All right, let's uh, let's go form some diplomatic relations with whatever the hell these things are. Why? You are amazing, and we love you. Ow. Dying for no good reason. Probably go find one of those spare fairies. Spares? It's interesting how many of these different zones actually have... Uh... You know, actually have, like, important things on them. I was kind of expecting most of the, uh, the initial islands that you put down would actually be pretty empty. Kind of wish they were, actually, for a little while, just, just so you get used to your resource chains. But then again, I'm assuming the beats are there for, well, resources. What if they respawn? I won't kill any more until we, uh, ascertain that one. So what's this? Forging obelisk. Gain bonus EXP from gathering herbs and crops. Only one obelisk can be active at a time. Oh. Well, that's nice. Yeah, still gotta grab, uh, some more... Well, still gotta figure out where I get bone. Because I don't get that from slimes or the weird pig creatures. Because we'll just have to find out as we go along. I should maybe look in, into collections. Got infinite slimes for it. Hopefully slime can be used for something a little bit more than just making the pickaxe. Because as it currently stands, I've got like... God, i got to have like a hundred. Okay, so what can I make? I can make this shovel. Yeah, let's start with that. What else can I make? Small wallet? Yeah, let's make a small it. Hey, we've got we've got multiple pigs now. That's good. That means I can kill one. I probably won't. I probably will. We'll see how it goes. Medium backpack used like ten slime. Yeah, but that's not like a it's not a recurring cost. Okay, let's let's craft as much steel as we possibly can. Who knows? That might unlock something new for us. Okay, so we've got a market. We need a windmill. That's going to be some bricks. And we can't make the rest of these. Windmill seems like a reasonable idea. Coins are worth 50% more! Oh! Okay. I... Okay. Well, dang, this guy was selling gold for a little while. <coughs> 288, up to... 303. So that was... That was only three extra coins. We need a medium wallet. Which is emerald, topaz, thread, and hot pepper. So I guess I should have been hoarding that stuff. Or whatever. Uh, it's... 26 bricks. Yeah, sure. I'll just have to get... Uh, keep cutting down trees. Because yeah, it doesn't look like we've immediately lock, uh, unlocked any new recipes. Doesn't look like the uh, beat beat the third beat has uh, respawned yet. 
And yeah, it doesn't look like the pigs heal either. Oh, it makes me feel like a bit of a monster. Okay, uh, it's not industrial, it's farming. Bridge. There we go. I'm just gonna slowly cover everything in bridges. The other thing we could actually consider is actually saving up for the, uh... We could actually save up for, uh... For her thing. It's not actually that bad of an idea. Because we're certainly, like, rolling in dough compared to where we were when we started this. Especially if I start selling some of the crap that I've been picking up. I'm just, well, like those gems, it's kind of becoming obvious. Don't, don't just sell everything. It might not actually be a good idea. Oh, we should make some bottles. Okay, so we do, we do have another one of these. Okay, can I make, uh, no. Bottles are here? Bottle! I need thread. Let's see. Yeah, don't know what to do with druid scrolls. And we could make that, but no, I can just make a mill. Speaking of, can I make said mill? Windmill. 